Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for tuning in and uh, for being here in attendance, present and accounted for. Uh, you know, just getting right in, I say this every single time too, but you know, and then I'll say I mean it this time around and I'm going to talk for 15 minutes anyway, but let's just pretend we're getting right into it. Um, I am excited to try out this, this uh, newest item. It's not even a new item, it's just a new place that I've never had before. Shake Shack. Now, I've gotten lots of requests for uh, Shake Shack, you know, over the years, I think, gosh, it's been a while. You know, lots of people, they would always comment and even email and write in, they would say, could you review Shake Shack, you know, why haven't you tried them out, etc. And this is one of those establishments, you know, kind of similar to In-N-Out Burger, um, what's the other one, Jack in the Box, and there's a couple others. I want to try them out, but there's just none near me. But over the last few years, you know, they've kind of been expanding, new locations have been popping up here and there, and finally, the Day of Reckoning has arrived. And um, uh, finally, I was able to get my hands on Shake Shack, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying them out. I've never had it before. This is going to be the first time I've ever had anything from them. So what I wanted to do this time around, before just kind of diving in and, you know, trying out any new um, releases, so to speak, I just wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, just get like a little bit of a, I would say a metaphorical sampler meal. You know, get a burger, some fries, and a drink. And, uh, well, I'll make of it what I will. So, today I'm going to be trying out, for the main course, the Shack Burger, which seems to be like their signature um, burger. Uh, it's a cheeseburger. It comes with lettuce, tomato, cheese, and um, what they call Shack Sauce. So, uh, the price for that, it's a little pricey. $9 for a double, $5 for a single. I also just got some regular French fries, and uh, then I got a vanilla shake. So we've got the burger, we've got the side, we've got the drink, and um, I'll just, you know, try out a little bit of each, and uh, we'll go from there. Here's the bag that it came in. I'll just hold this up in case I want to do anything with this. Uh, you can see the moped is still very, very popular. That's what the Little Caesars thing rode in on, too. And uh, you can see this is interesting, right? We have... I guess a sideways crescent moon, a wave of the ocean, a hot dog, and then a log. So I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize, um, but there's just an interesting looking hieroglyphic, so to speak. Inside, my burger I would imagine is in there. And I imagine the cup with these protrusions emanating therefrom must be the fries. Got some ketchup for the fries. And then my drink, I've already, I already have it on the side there. Um, what I'm going to do just before I start, well, let me show you the burger first, and then I'll take a thumbnail. I'll just show you everything real quick. All right, here's the fries. There we go. It says it's go time. And there's a good sideways view of the fries. They look like your crinkle cut fries. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but to me anyway, I can discern um, that, they, that they appear to be salted. Pretty decently salted. So there's the fries. And I know the camera is out of focus, but that's all right, because I'm just going to be holding up a burger momentarily. So that's the burger. You can see that leafy lettuce right there. And we'll get a closer view of it. It's like in its own little living quarters. You can see, you know, it looks like a standard, you know, like greasy cheeseburger, so to speak. So to speak, I guess that's my catchphrase these days. I know it, it used to be, you know. But now I guess it's so to speak. All right, what I'm just going to do for the sake of a thumbnail, you know the way it goes, right? I'm just going to set this stuff up. 
and like this, like I'm, well, that's, that's going to be actually a little tougher than you think because it's, you have these protrusions here. I'll just hold up the burger. I'll even take it out of this and then we'll just try it out. And, you know, then we'll try out the fries and all of that stuff. So I'll take it out of its wrapping. Now here's a better view of it anyway. There's the tomato, there's the uh, beef patty, and let's, there's that sauce, the shack sauce. So that's what it looks like anyway. I think you're able to get a pretty clear view of it and you can see what it looks like. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a couple thumbnails here. You know, this will be the first one, holding it up. And then this will be another one. You know what I'll do? I'll do one holding both of them up. I know you might say, stop fussing over all this stuff, but you have to understand that the thumbnails are the most important part of the video, really. I mean, in terms of, you know, getting any sort of interest. <laughs> Boy, this is... Yeah, you're just getting it. Right there. And we'll just get one last one of me with the burger. So, there you go. I'll make something of it either way. All right, enough of this playing around with it all. Let's just try it out. The uh, Shack Burger from Shake Shack going in. I should note that I got two patties on it. take one more bite. Like I said, I got the double. So this was a $9 burger. I must say, it's enjoyable. Uh, I, I like it. I really do. It's a... Uh, it's one of those burgers that, you know, you get different types of fast food burgers. Some of them, I think, are more complex than others. Um, this is not necessarily a very complicated sandwich, you know, to the extent that, oh, it's got this and this and this and this and this, and, you know, it's served flaming or some weird gimmick or something like that. Right, you're just getting a basic burger. You're getting the patties, lettuce, tomato, and the sauce. And, um, of course, you can customize it therefrom, but this is just, yeah, I want to get the basic. I like it. Obviously, the, the cornerstone of this um, is the meat itself. That's the most important thing, and I like it. Um, one thing that really stands out to me here is how juicy the patties are. And uh, I think that's just really nice, you know? It's not like they're raw or anything, but they're just really juicy, flavorful. It's really teeming with flavor, and I like it. Um, I, you know, the two patties are good, but I think even if you got it with one patty, it would not be lacking in flavor or, any, or anything. It's not like you're getting these, you know, dried out little, um, you know, tiny patties that just don't really taste like anything. These are, you know, you can see they have a decent thickness to them. They're juicy, very flavorful, and um, good quality. I would definitely say this is, of the fast food burgers, this is definitely one of the better ones that I've had. One interesting observation that I think some might like, some might not. Uh, you know, you can see that the bread is not very thick in terms of its size, right? But one thing that I do notice um, is that it's dense in that even though there's not a lot of bread, um, you know, you kind of notice you're chewing it a little bit. Some of it kind of gets stuck to your teeth afterward. Um, but there's not so much to the point that it gets in the way of anything. You get a nice leafy piece of lettuce, real crisp. 
Um, you could definitely taste the freshness on it. And uh, the tomato, the same applies to that. It's not the thickest tomato in the world, but I think what's there, um, it's still pretty flavorful. Uh, so overall, now you might notice I'm not really talking about the uh, shack sauce. So forgetting about that, I would just say it's a pretty decent burger overall. Um, but in regards to the shack sauce, or they give it a fancy name, you know, like it's the shack sauce, it's the signature sauce uh, of the establishment. I didn't really notice it all that much. It's kind of like a glorified um, mayonnaise. Not quite, but it just doesn't really have too much flavor of its own. I think it just adds a little bit of moisture to, you know, an already juicy burger. But it doesn't really get in the way of things. It's not like that, you know, the gyro from Arby's that I tried in the last video, where it was just disgusting with how much moisture there was. Um, it's not like that at all. It's fine, but just don't expect, like, the, the shack sauce to have everything. So out of 10, what am I going to rate the uh, shack burger? from Shake Shack. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I enjoy it again, a little pricey, but honestly, I think it's good quality, tastes good, and uh, I really, I don't have any complaints about it. It's definitely a 9. Um, again, one of the better burgers I've had. Um, it, it is reminiscent a little bit of this one regional chain called Muya, um, but truth be told, I think it's better than that. But it's just, it's just a good quality burger, I would say, and uh, I have a feeling most folks who get it would enjoy it. Again, here's those fries. We already uh, showed you, so I'll just try one out real quick. There it is, kind of like an accordion. You know, a little musical accompaniment for the feast. So I'll try it out real quick. They're unremarkable. Not really too much needs to be said about them. Just basic french fries, basic, you know, crinkle cut fries. They're not overly flavorful. It's not like they're underly flavorful either, but they're just absolutely basic and unremarkable. It's like one of those things that you can get as a side. It's not the main attraction. It's not the main course. Get it if you want, and I think if you omit them, it's not really like you're going to lose anything of value. Like some places, it's like, oh, you know, you got to get the fries, etc. Um, I wouldn't say so in this case. They're just average. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say they're necessarily worth the three bucks. Um, decent for what they are, but nothing to nothing to really, you know, rave about. So out of ten, um, you know, I would give these like a six point five out of ten. They're okay, not the best, and not the worst. Kind of somewhere in the middle there. Finally, the vanilla shake. Um, this was a $6 shake, and um, if you can kind of see in the top right there, well, actually, you can't, so let's try to avert disaster. You can see enough of it. Looks pretty creamy, and um, we'll just try it out. So let's take a couple sips real quick. Very malty, I would say. Yeah. Goes down easy. It's real smooth. Very sweet. The vanilla has more of like a synthetic um, characteristic to it. But again, it's sweet. Uh, creamy. and It goes down smooth. Again, it's not overly... It's more of you know, more liquid than it is viscous or anything. It's just, you know, it's more like you're just drinking it down. It's not like it's glorified ice cream or anything. Um, I don't really have a problem with it. Again, some people might say the vanilla in it just tastes a little bit artificial, but again, it, it doesn't bother me. Um, you know, the cup isn't that big, but it's wide. You know, it's a pretty wide cup, so it still has a decent serving size, I'd say. And uh, again, similar to how the fries are, I think it's okay for what it is. Definitely nothing to rave about, um, but if you want a shake, you know, I think, you know, you might enjoy it. Um, despite the name calling this Shake Shack, I'd say the burger is the main star here. The shake, again, it's okay. Nothing crazy about it, but decent overall. Um, so again, I think I'd rate it a little higher than the fries. I'd give it around a 7 out of 10. Um, pretty decent. Again, the whole meal is decent. Burger is the best, followed by the shake, followed by the fries. 
a friend got, um, what was it, the, the strawberry shake. And they said they couldn't really taste the strawberries as much, but in the vanilla one, I mean, I could, I, I could make out that vanilla. Again, a little synthetic, but it was definitely there. You know, you could tell what you were drinking. So all things considered, Shake Shack. Burger, I really enjoyed it. I'll probably be back again for more of the uh, the burgers, definitely. I don't know if I'll get it with the fries, but, you know, maybe a shake, too. Maybe some fries, we'll see. But uh, glad I was able to try this out. was really looking forward to this, and uh, especially that burger. I was not let down by it, so uh, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feast on it some more. And uh, that's the assessment of Shake Shack. Yeah, thumbs up, I'd say. I enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching, everyone. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.